Chamonix, man. Gigantic mountains. Helicopters, wingsuits, what more can you ask for? So much potential. What you can see, this beautiful landscape, that's why we're here. I've traveled quite a bit. I've been to France a bunch, and one thing I've learned is it really helps if you speak the language. Just getting around town or whatever, getting food and stuff like that. It helps if you parlay a little Francais. Thankfully, our buddy Rock gave us some lessons. Have you guys been to Hawaii? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Here in France for Aloha, we say Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse. Yeah. Pamplemousse. Yeah. yeah, so that was cool. You know, uh, made the whole trip a little bit more authentic. Pamplemousse! The Frenchies were saying the food was coming, and when they say the food is coming, normally that means no jumping. So we really lucked out. The winds were pretty high. We had 70 knot winds up at altitude. Helicopter was going backwards at one point. It was just a little bit windy. Cruising around France, trying to get jumps in. Sometimes you run into some situations where you just need to know the language. Machine, machine, à laver, à laver. Machine, à laver, machine à laver. Machine à laver. Machine à laver. It was pretty cool, man. Mike was talking, actually talking to the pilot in French. It was pretty fun getting out and flying steep flocking together and it's really an intensely visual environment and when you take your eyes off of it to look at the people flying around you it gets exciting really fast. Jam de caniche. Jam de caniche. It wasn't perfect jumping conditions, but I think we did pretty well considering the Chamonix weather. Probably the most fun I've had in the last four years has been in this valley. I'm just stoked every time to come back and get after it here. The Massif de Mont Blanc is massive, endless potential. We'll definitely be back sooner than later. But next time, we'll go deep into the mountain. <laughs>